Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to help you figure out the equation of this circle uh, with a center of 10, negative 13, and one point on that circle of 8, negative 17. So, let's try to remember, what is the equation of a circle when you're trying to graph it on a coordinate plane? Well, we start off, remember the equation looks like the Pythagorean theorem because that's really how we got that equation by using the Pythagorean theorem. It's something squared plus something squared equals a hypotenuse squared. So it's x minus h and y minus k squared equals r squared. So, um, this H and the K are the center, and this R, when we're talking about a circle, it's obviously the radius. So, we have two parts of, we have actually one part of the circle uh, of this equation so far. We have the center. So, let's just plug these numbers in. We have X minus, minus, remember that minus is always there, 10 squared plus y minus okay i still left that minus and then i want to i'm going to substitute this negative 13 here and squared is equal to now we don't know what the radius is we just know the a point on the circle is 8 negative 17. so to help us figure out what the length of the radius is let's actually uh to help us um visualize this let's look at a coordinate plane so here's a coordinate plane um, that I drew for you. And here is the center, 10, negative 13. Okay, so we went 10 to the right on the x-axis and went down uh, negative 13 over here. And then the point on the circle is 8, negative 17. Okay, so uh, we went to the right 8 and down 17. Okay, so we have two parts of the circle. We have the center and a point on the circle. And our, our uh, task is to figure out what the length of this from the center to this point, because that would be our radius. Okay, to help you visualize that, here's the center. Remember the compass, the metal part that hurts, uh, that you don't want to stab yourself or uh, anyone close by with, is the center. And then you put the pencil part right there. Okay, so from here to here would be your radius. Okay, and remember the radius is always the same. So then when you do rotate that compass, okay, since the radius is always the same, that one point will help us figure out what the radius is. Okay, so this radius will tell us, will help us draw that circle. So our task is, hey, what's that radius? Uh, so remember the, the formula for a circle is... Um, based off of the Pythagorean theorem. And what are Py what's the Pythagorean theorem used for originally? It's used for a right triangle. So let's draw a right triangle. So if we go uh, draw a line going down here, and we draw a line going from here to here, and we just connect that. Okay, so this right here is our radius. Okay, in order to find this radius, we're going to draw a right triangle. Okay, so... And remember, the Pythagorean theorem is, is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. And so here's our c, uh, and here's our a and b. So let's figure out what this length is. So uh, the length from here to here, we can count it, which is 2, or, um, or we can just subtract the x values, okay? So... Because from here to here, okay, is just a horizontal line. So we just look at the two x values. So 10 minus 8 would be 2. Okay, so let's just write that down. So 10 minus 8, okay, squared plus, okay, and now here, okay, this other leg of the right triangle uh, represents the y values because it's, it's vertical. Okay, so we would subtract uh negative 17 and negative 13 from each other or negative 13 from negative 17 it doesn't matter so negative 17 minus negative 13 squared and then that would be our c squared which is really our radius so i'm going to substitute that c with radius squared 
Okay, let's move that piece of paper. So 10 minus 8 would be 2 squared. Okay, and then plus, okay, remember these two negatives um, uh, make a positive. Okay, so negative 17 plus 13 would be negative 4 squared and it doesn't matter if you if we put it in the other order uh, we would still get the same answer is equal to r squared okay so r squared um would be or two squared would be four so let's set that equal so r squared is equal to four plus okay and negative four squared would be positive 16 and we would just add these two. So 4 plus 16 would be 20 is equal to r squared. Okay. And then to get to r by itself, we'll square root both sides. So r is equal to. Okay. So uh, remember, with square roots, you're trying to find pairs. Uh, let's get some more space over here. So two numbers that multiply to 20 are, uh, let's try 10 and two, and two numbers that multiply to 10 are five and two, and all these numbers are prime numbers, so we can't factor them anymore, and we're trying to find pairs, so we have a pair of twos here, and so we're, the pairs go on the outside, so we have one pair of twos, so we're gonna write one two, and the leftover factor of 20 is five, so, the radius is 2 square root of 5. Now we have our radius. Now we have everything that we need for the, for the equation of the circle. So let's go back to this piece of paper. Uh, and let's zoom back out. And our radius was 2 square root of 5. So we're going to substitute the r with that. Squared. Okay, so let's simplify all of this. Uh, we can't simplify this, so we'll just leave it as x minus 10 squared plus these two negatives make a positive. So let's write y plus 13 squared is equal to, now, uh, this doesn't mean uh, multiply everything by two. This means uh, because this is in a parentheses and this is two times radical five, we could we could distribute that to here and here, okay? So that would make this two squared and radical five squared, okay? And so two squared is four and a square and a square root cancel each other out. So it's just four times five and four times five is 20. So let's bring everything else down. Y plus 13 squared plus x minus 10 squared. Let's make that y look nicer. I'll try to make it nicer. So uh, we got x minus 10 squared plus y, y plus 13 squared is equal to 20. And that's our final answer. Uh, if you don't want to go through these extra steps, okay, just remember how we got here. But if you look at it, okay, uh, this number right here was really uh, was really what we got over here before we simplified it. Okay, so before we square root both sides, r squared was is does equal twenty. So r squared equal twenty, and we substitute this r squared with twenty. So if you don't want to do this extra math right here, you can just look at what r squared originally equaled. 4 plus 16 is 20, so we can just substitute the r squared with the 20. Hope that helps. Uh, and there's some review on some algebra over here and some square rooting and some graphing, but yes. So here, use the formula. There's your center, and then use the Pythagorean theorem, okay? If you don't want to graph it, all you really have to do is subtract the x's. So 10 minus 8 was 2 squared, okay, and negative 17 minus 13 is negative 4 squared, and then just plug that into the Pythagorean theorem to get your radius, and then just plug everything in. There is your formula. Hope that helps. Have a great day.